Okay, I got to hurry on this one. I got a pregnant wife who's wanting to eat. But today we're going to be testing the 90 grain Federal Fusion. Yep, that's the 90 grain Federal Fusion. These are not available on the market for reloading as far as I know, but I was able to get my hands on some. Figured I'd give them a whirl. Uh, these bullets were made for the 224 Valkyrie. Uh, I got some CFE 223 powder loaded up. Uh, I had to seed them out as far as possible. You don't want to seed them too far in, otherwise they drop down in the case. So it was a little tricky, but we're going to give it a whirl. The rifle I'm going to be testing today is an Alexander Arms Lower, which is off my 6.5 Grindel that you've seen in other videos. I got a Vortex Diamondback, uh, I believe 4x16 or 4.5x16 scope on it. And we got an arrow precision upper. Uh, the thing about these bullets, they are 90 grains, so you need a really fast twist rate. And I've got a 1 in 7 twist on a 16 inch barrel. I got the chronograph set up. I've only got three bullets loaded, so we're going to give these ones a whirl. Hopefully, I'll just get one good reading. Um, and then we'll go to the water jug test. We'll go back, I don't know, maybe 50 yards and see how they expand. Really interested to see how these do. Um, not real sure what to expect. Like I said, they're designed for faster 22 caliber cartridges. But I've got a 5.56 and I thought it'd be interesting to see how they do. Stay tuned. Velocity 2345. I believe the other one said 2379. Okay, I got one more bullet left. Hopefully, I can center it and catch it. Um, I got three def jugs, one one gallon jug, uh, long bullet, high sectional density, and low velocity. I think we'll get pretty good penetration. Not too sure about the expansion yet. We're going to find out. Lots of energy dumped into the first jug. Looks like we hit low into the second. Made it through number two into number three. And we're stuck in the second def jug. So we went through one one gallon, one def jug, stuck in the second. Look here and see if we caught our bullet, which I believe we did. This is a 90 grain bonded soft point. Should hold together pretty good. There it is. Shabam. Expanded pretty nicely. Uh, held together really well. We'll do a couple measurements back at the lab. Okay, here we are back at the bench. Did some measurements. The largest width with the calipers was 0.5795. 
pretty impressive for a 22 caliber bullet uh, you can see there's these long pedals here that that little guy there is kind of funny uh, looks like that pedal tried holding on to the other ones but anyway we'll do a quick measurement of weight original weight was 90 grains we are at 83.3 so we got roughly 90 percent weight retention which is excellent um, penetration was good energy dump was decent I think this bullet would definitely better be better in like a 224 Valkyrie or something like that but overall great bullet what would I use this bullet for what kind of applications I don't know uh, I think it'd be an okay self-defense round in Colorado we can't hunt with a 20 large game with a 22 caliber bullet but in some states where you can, I think it'd make a great little deer round. Uh, maybe long range target load. I don't know how accuracy is. But anyway, kind of cool. Just wanted to see how these did.